Good afternoon, this is the Sheep Heart Dissection for North Dakota State's paramedic program. This is the anterior portion of the Sheep Heart, the posterior section, the base where the blood vessels are entering and exiting, and the apex, which is this pointed section of the heart, also the side of the left ventricle. The heart is not so much straight on, but more positioned off to the side. You'll notice here a couple different structures this thick wall here throughout the middle, which separates the right side of the heart from the left side, is known as the interventricular septum or sulcus. These different arteries, coronary arteries, are what damage is what damage during heart attacks. Other things to notice are the pulmonary trunk, the aorta. We also have some other different pulmonary veins and arteries that are coming through here in the base. These little ear-like flaps are auricles that are on top of the atria. So we have our right oracle and right atrium, our left atria and left atrium, as well as our right ventricle and our left ventricle. As we dissect the heart, we can see the different muscle thickness in the different ventricles. We have our right atria and right ventricle here and we have our left atria and left ventricle here. Other things to note is that thickness in that myocardium, that heart muscle. In the right side, it's more malleable, not as thick, but in the left side here, you can see that left ventricle, just how thick that myocardium is. That's because that's where the main work is done. A lot of forceful um, contractions happen here in the left ventricle to force that blood out through the system. Other things to note, are this fibrous tendons. These chordae tendini, these fibrous cords that connect the different valves between the atria and the ventricles, and they are connected with the papillary muscles. So here we have the SA node in that atria, which is our heart's pacemaker. That backup pacemaker is the AV node, which then forms the uh, AV bundle or the bundle of his. We have in this wall as well, the uh, left and right, or in this case right and left, bundle branches that form down here into the Purkinje fibers. So when we look a little bit more closely, blood flows into the right atria. It is protected from backflow by the, tricusp excuse me, the tricuspid valve. That tricuspid valve is a one-way valve that blood then forms into the right ventricle that then gets pushed out through the pulmonary trunk. So that, pulmonot, that pulmonic semilunal valve prevents that black backflow of blood into the right ventricle. That pulmonary trunk, that blood takes deoxygenated blood out through the left and right pulmonary arteries, which it then goes to the lungs, becomes oxygenated, and then comes back through to the left atria through the pulmonic veins. And these blood vessels are what returns the blood to the heart. Once in the left atria, the blood throws through the tricuspid, excuse me, the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve down into the left ventricle and out through the aorta. The aorta is the large artery here that stems from the left ventricle and carries that blood out to the systemic circulation. Not noted here, but we would have off the brachial, or excuse me, off the aortic arch is the brachiocephalic trunk that then branches out into the right subclavian artery and the right carotid artery, which that would supply the blood for the head and the arms. On the left sort side of the aortic arch, which is coming out this way, you don't see that. There's not a brachiocephalic trunk that comes off of that, but that it would be the left subclavian artery and the left carotid artery. So again, blood flowing comes in through the right atrium, which where we receive the blood. So we get our blood from the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, as well as the coronary sinus. That deoxygenated blood comes through that right atria, through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle. That tricuspid valve prevents any kind of backflow. That blood then comes up through the pulmonic semilunar valve. Again, that valve prevents any kind of backflow into the right ventricle through the pulmonary trunk, 
gets sent out into the lungs through the left and right pulmonary arteries, becomes oxygenated after it gets seen by the lungs, and it comes back through the pulmonary veins into the left atria, through the mi mitral valve, into the left ventricle, forced and pushed out through the aortic semilunar valve and out through the aortic arch, ultimately then out throughout the body, throughout the brain, the arms, and through the systemic circulation. So there you have it. That is the sheep heart dissection. North Dakota State Paramedics Program. Thank you.